hello guys in today's tutorial i would like to show you all on how to plot a survey plan on revit um i have a survey plan which i would like to use as an example on how to plot this survey plan in revit it's quite easy and straightforward I would like you to just stay tuned and pay attention first of all go down I would need to go back to my Revit uh, I just opened a new project on Revit so first of all all I need to do is I prefer bringing in my survey plan into my Revit reason is because there are times where um, you might misplace the survey plan given to you by a client and you need to make use of the, you need to have um, a reason why to go back to the survey plan for one or two stops and you don't have them anymore but by bringing it into your Revit project it will help you to still revisit um, the survey plan when you when it has been missing you can always have it on your Revit project at any time and any day if the Revit project is still intact. So what I need to do on my level 1, on default Revit, we have level 1 and level 2. So on my level 1, all I just need to do is um, where I have my survey plan, I will just drag the survey plan. If it's on a PDF, I would prefer you screenshot it and turn it to a picture jpeg format so you can always have it on your revit project so i will just drag it down to my revit project and drop ah, this is just it so reason why i want i prefer having it here also is that instead of me going back to my um folder to check the image and stuff like that why not me just have it here and I'll just be looking at what I have and plot what I want to plot without too much stress going um, back and front. So all we need to do first is go to massing and sites. Under massing and site we have properties. So once you click on properties, this dialog box will come up and they tell you create by entering distance and bearing this is where we need to make use of our survey plan the distance and the bearings but if you're making use of sketch create by sketch it means you're creating the survey plan by sketch it's a two different things so we are going to make we're going to make use of and we are entering distance and bearing so just click on create by entering distance and bearing so this pops up and property lines you you have your distance here north slash south bearing this is where you put your um bearings and minutes the degree and the minutes and you have the east and west type lines wages and stuff like that so now we don't have the site we don't have south and we don't have north and south on our survey plan so how are we going to go about it? If we're going to be making use of this survey plan and imputing our um, figures on under this bearing part, we might have issues with the north and south when we start going um, round this survey plan, round the survey plan. Once we start taking each of these areas, each of these parts of the survey plan, so all we need to do is we need to off this north and south because we don't have it on our survey plan. How can we do that? So you can't let's close this and there's this, this box here, this small arrow here, at this below the building part, below the building pad. So just click on it and this dialog box comes up. All you just need to do here is change this angle display to degrees you take it off from degrees from north slash south you put it to you just take um change it to degrees and once you click on degrees apply 
OK. And then you go back to your property line, create by entering distance and bearing. So all you have next is, once you, the dialog box comes up again, you don't have the north slash south, you don't have the west slash east anymore. So now we can easily um, plot our survey plan with ease, without issues and any issues. So I will, I prefer starting from the lowest degree. Personally, I prefer starting from the lowest degree and then go clockwise. I prefer doing that way. So my the lowest degree here is 12 degrees and 36 minutes. So I would start from my 12 degrees by plotting the sides. So on that distance here, this distance, this is where we put the distance of each side of the plot. So on our 12 degree 36 minutes, we have 36.52 meters. That is the length of that part of the site. So we, we're going to impute that length 36.52. And then you put in your M. M. Once you put in your M and then you click enter, it's going to calculate it, convert it into millimeters. Because I'm actually using, making use of millimeters, it's actually going to com and convert it into millimeters and my enter. So it has converted it into millimeters. So the next thing I need to do is impute my degree, which is 12. I click, clean this out and then impute 12 and then move, move down to the minutes, change it to 36 minutes, which will have, this is 36 minutes. I just imputed there, 36 minutes. So on to the next part, which we have 12 degrees here. The next is 103 degrees. So how do I add more um, space to impute my um, distance and bearing? So all I need to do is under insert, I click on insert and impute the next distance, which is 36. 0.63 meters it will help me convert it to millimeters and oh, enter so i go into my bearing column and i change this into 103 my minutes into 39 this is it here yeah, 39 so the next is I need to insert another one again. Insert the, the third one, which is this 37.69 meters. 37.69 meters. On to the next. The bearing 192. And then the minute is um, for three minutes on to the next we have this is the last part of the site which is which we have 36.63 meters 285 degrees 29 minutes i insert the next one and um, impute the figure there 36.63 meters and on to the next um, the bearing between 285 degrees, the minute is 29. And after that, this um, hard line to close is when you have issues plotting your site. And for example, there's a particular part of the, um, the survey plan, you're not seeing the figure very well if you have issues like that. And you can use this add line once when you've done, you've gone around, you've gone around the um, survey plan, and you have a particular part around there you need to close up. You don't know the um, the bearing and distance for it, so you just make use of add line to close up. So, but for this now instance, we have them complete the four parts complete. All I need to do is click OK. OK. 
and I am good to go. And this is my survey plan. I just plotted it. It looks the same. This is it. Thank you for today's video. If at any point you find this video helpful, please I would like you to subscribe to my channel, like and also share to your friends. Thank you very much.